हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ड्रेस माय क्राफ्ट यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल एंड हिट दी बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस अ वीडियो फ्रॉम आर इट्स नव जद खुशाल दिस साइड एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल क्रिएट सम अमेजिंग फन की चेंज यूजिंग अ वराइटी ऑफ असेसरीज एंड क्रिस्टल क्लियर ऑयल फ्रॉम ड्रेस माई क्राफ्ट सो लेट्स हैव अ क्लोजर लुक वट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट टूडे लेट्स क्विकली हैव अ लुक टू दी की चेंज वट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट Before we begin let's have a quick look at the DIY kit we have for all of you. So let's quickly grab the kit here. So this is the kit the DIY kit for the keychains. Let's open this and let's have a look onto that. So kit contains the following. One bottle of crystal clear oil. Heavy metal rings to create your key rings and two of the smaller size a pack full of chain a sorted pack of dry flowers glass bottles glass balls jump rings white flowers few of the slices and the uh, mixtures of some beautiful sequins and mini balls sequins and the flower pearls and along with the glitter as well and a pack full of charms here that you will be getting assorted accessories in the diy kit which might vary on kit to kit basis so you can enjoy creating different variety of keychains so start with here i'm taking out the accessories and separated them for six kit keychains so let's quickly do that now so here i am ready with the placements and with the all the accessories which we are going i'm going to combine for every charm here so here you will see that i have assorted all the accessories as per my liking but as i said earlier you are getting a assorted pack so feel free to play with the accessories as per your liking there is not no any right or a wrong way of using them you may use as per your liking you may combine them as per your requirements and as per your liking what we have done here is we have created like six uh, bowls here we are done with them and we have separated all the accessories as per liking and as per the um, these beautiful filler boxes here as well so that is like a coordinating one so you may choose again you may choose as per your liking these are the things which we are going to use for all of these six key chains like the uh, key ring pieces the chains and the flowers and everything so first thing first what i'm going to do here is i'm going to start uh, filling these beautiful bottles here using our crystal clear oil so this is like the very first thing we are going to do and not only these we are going to fill few of the balls here as well i'm going to keep them few of with the dry without like uh, with the dry fillers only like i'm not going to use any of the oil for them but again that is totally optional if you want to fill all these empty glass jars like the bottles and all the balls using the crystal clear oil you may do that as well so now let's quickly remove all these and let's uh, start creating these balls and the bottles let's take the first bottle uh, so this is the combination we have taken here a beautiful com accessory and a eiffel tower accessory here so now you have a beautiful um, bottles over here so you may choose as per your liking what you want to fill for your uh, first bottle uh, coordinating with this charm so again that is totally your choice you have this beautiful flask with you so let's creating the very first one what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to fill the bottle with a little bit of oil oil very less amount of oil i'm putting here in like this just for the base itself okay now what next i'm going to do is for this you will be needing few of the extra supplies as well so you will be needing first of all you will be needing a pair of scissors here to cut your flask and uh, let's quickly cut what part or what section you want to add into your bottle you may choose as per your liking so this is like more than enough for this particular section even i'm going to chop off few of more flowers over here so you will see you need very less amount of these flowers to be filled into the bottles over here now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to have a look how um, i will be needing the uh, height of these flowers so now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to trim off few of 
the length of this as well to make sure that this is going to fit in properly into the bottles now along with that i'm going to use the flower pearls the white flower pearls because they goes perfectly with the theme so let's quickly chop off a little amount of the sachet over here let's pour in a little bit of flower pearls here very small quantity is like more than enough and here you will be needing one more extra supply to make sure that you are not going to create any mess on your table so i'm going to grab the dress my craft funnel tray here i think so i, I have to cut a little more okay so here i'm going to grab all the flower pearls which are going to out into our funnel tray and this is like more than enough so we need very less amount of flower pearls you will see here that i have put very less amount of flower pearls here so let's keep them aside let's grab the another amazing tool which is like one of the best accessory to be used when you are working with the crystal clear oils in the bottles so these are like the fine tip tweezers so this is an additional product you will be required to create your all these bottles uh, easily look at them how pretty it looks it's looking absolutely stunning now what next you have to do is you can fill um, the entire bottle using any of these beautiful um, bottles over here as per your liking what i'm going to do here is i'm going to simply fill it only using the crystal clear oil by dress my craft here so let's quickly fill it and i'm going to fill it till here like i'm going to leave a little bit amount like the three fourth here please make sure that you are going to go a little slow here don't uh, fill it very fast or like too fast so be gentle with this process and you will see that how pretty it looks so i'm holding it from the top to show you and this is looking absolutely gorgeous here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it aside for uh, two to three minutes let's uh, all uh, let's the air bubble release very nicely and then we will seal it okay so let's quickly grab the another one for the another one this is like a very pretty mauve shade here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to quickly grab these uh, both of the things like i'm going to grab this ball and the bottle and i'm going to fill using all the purple shade things because it's like mauve so we can grab these flowers which are there in the kit then we can grab these beautiful onion slices which are there in the kit so let's quickly start putting them into the bottle here again let's start with the oil first with the bottle right now i'm creating the bottle here fill very less amount of flower pearls in between right pour in a little bit of more oil then i'm going to grab few of the onion slices you will be getting and i'm going to put them into this bottle look at this how how pretty it looks look at this how pretty it looks isn't it so now what i'm going to do is again i'm going to grab few of these flowers the coordinating shade flowers over here just make sure that you are getting the height which is required to fill the entire walls and this is the perfect one and here i'm going to fill this again with the help of fine tip tweezer here and this is how it looks look at this how absolutely amazing it looks so now what next you can do is if you want to add the glitter or the white flower pearls into the same bottle feel free to do that right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to leaving this like the way i did right now fill the rest of the bottle using crystal clear oil tap off and see oops sorry okay so mind it that this uh, oil is extremely slippery so make sure that you are going to wipe your hands in between as well using any of the wet tissue or the dry tissue so i'm happy with the oil here again i'm going to keep it aside and making sure that all the air, all the bubbles will release so this is like the air pressure no bubbles will occur in the oil okay that is just the air pressure so just release it and then let's quickly grab the ball here as well now we are going to create the very first ball 
again I'm going to put the oil here and this time I'm going to fill the bowl using these onion slices okay so you have to be gentle here and you have to just take one one out of that and then you are going to fill it after filling the onion slices what next you have to do is you can fill the using the same uh, bubble flower bulbs or you may mix it using with the with the white flower bulbs as well so this is more than enough for me here so now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to just grab few of the flower bulbs here and i'm going to put them in so here you can see my tweezer is filled like covered with a little bit of oil so that is going to help me out to pick very easily few of the flower bulbs here now again i'm going to just create a mixture of white one as well and what next i'm going to do here is i'm going to grab these beautiful star shaker slices and i'm going to just take them out onto my large funnel tray and what next i have to do is i have to simply grab the uh, these uh, move or like purple shaped stars only to fill into this particular ball that is again your choice that is optional right so what you can do is you can choose as per your liking you may use any of these colors i'm putting few of the whites as well to break them and this is how it looks isn't it looking super gorgeous so now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to simply fill the same boy ball the glass ball these are very extremely crystal clear balls as well, uh, under my dress my craft what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill it very slowly and this is what i have done so far okay so now again what i'm going to do is before sealing it i'm going to just clean the excess of the oil please make sure that you are going to do that otherwise uh, that will be very difficult for you to adhere the top of the ball so because that is like the uh, nature of the oils so please make sure that you are going to clean it and then you are going to seal it that we will do a little later on the sealing part let's switch to the next uh, bottle and now enjoy the process as i said you may choose all these elements as per your liking so let's quickly jump to the next bottle here so here i'm going to grab the pink flask for this and this is more than enough so let's enjoy this process now Now I'm going to use a little bit of glitter here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tweezer step and I'm going to just add the glitter to the bottle here. And fill the rest of the bottle using crystal clear oil. that's it we are done with this let's quickly move to the next bottle here for the next one i'm going to grab the these beautiful sequins here add a little bit of oil let's grab these sequins pour them in and then a little bit of flowers so here you can see that I'm randomly putting the things as per my liking. Oops. So let's quickly grab this a little bit of more oil and what next I'm going to grab here are the more flowers. So I'm going to fill all my bottles using these beautiful gorgeous dry flowers here. using my tweezer let's keep put them in and here we are done now what next you have to do is you have to simply put the oil in between quickly grab the another water here so as i said this is quite slippery slippery so make sure that you are cleaning your hands in between now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this ball and i'm going to grab this beautiful sequence mix here which is like the yellow one 
so I'm going to just simply add the yellow here you may add the stars you may add the uh, these beautiful mini balls here as per your liking so here you can see that I have used the yellow ones here along with that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these mini balls here into this ball so let's do this like this and a few of the flowers and I'm going to use this time just the flowers only fill with the same oil till the top of this pot, uh, ball let's quickly grab the last two which we are going to fill here and for that what we are going to grab here is like again the yellow mix so here you all can see i have kept few of the balls without uh, the oil here so that is again your choice if you want to fill those as well with the crystal clear oil feel free to do that i'm going to create the dry shakers for those so this goes perfectly in so let's add the oil here and this few of the yellow mix and the oil and then this is going to be ready now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this ball here let's add a little bit of oil onto the base let's grab a little bit of glitter and mix it into the oil here add more oil add the yellow mix You may use your tweezer as well, filling these tiny balls here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the rest of the entire section using the crystal clear oil here. This process is so soothing and so calming. You are going to love it when you are going to pour your oil into these balls and to the, into the bottles. So we are done with them. So let's quickly move to the next step now look how gorgeous these beauties are looking so now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to fill these balls these two balls are still with me i'm going to uh, dry uh, fill them like i'm going to create a shaker mix here without using the oil again it's your choice if you want to create the same way uh, which we have done earlier you will uh, do that as well so now let's quickly fill them now let's grab the press my craft funnel tray here and for the very first one, I'm going to use these teal set sequence because that is like coordinating with this. So fill it with the same. Let's add a little bit of flappers. And few of the stars as well. So I'm going to quick, quickly grab few of the stars here, which are like the coordinating shades. For the entire theme but you may put randomly as well okay i'm putting few of the whites as well that's it this is the mix we have created here if you want to put the flowers in between as well you may do that as too now let's quickly grab the second ball and for that what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put these beautiful mini balls here i'm going to fill it using the mini balls along with the flower balls again shake them and here our mixture is ready you may again use any of those 
slices as well if you want to now after finishing this we are done with the all the shakers which we want to create here so we are basically done with everything what next we have to do is we have to seal everything so let's quickly do that now while all the bottles and the uh, glass balls are drying let's quickly start creating our keychains now using these beautiful accessories so all these accessories are like purple gum accessories and the fashion accessories by dress my craft look at them how cute and absolutely gorgeous they are so now for these uh, for the final placement we will be uh, needing these things so first is like the chain and then the heavy metal rings and the jump rings so now let's quick unpack them and uh, let's start creating them now let's start working with the very first one and this time i'm going to start from this side so i'm going to grab these beautiful bubblegum accessories here so look at this look at this so what next i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the uh, matching accessories for the same as well here into the frame just to get the idea what exactly and where i'm going to put and add what so first we have created a beautiful bo uh, bottle for the same look at the beauty of this bottle here look how gorgeous it looks isn't it looking super amazing so super interesting now again let's quickly grab the ball which we have created the glass ball for this to be uh, combined with this entire keychain so these are the four accessories which we are going to uh, hang on for the very first keychain for that what i'm going to grab here is i'm going to grab a key ring few of the jump rings and the first thing what you have to do is you have to just visualize uh, basically that where you want to place your uh, bottles that up and down is totally uh, your choice you may hang them as per your liking what first thing you have to do here is you have to grab one jump ring if you want you may use the pliers as well the jewelry pliers if you need to use them so i'm using a uh, and opening them with the hands only here so let's quickly do that so this is like the first main jump ring which we are going to attach to the ring here now what next we have to do is we have to cut our chain accordingly so here i have four hangings to hang what i'm going to do is i'm going to firstly cut the chain as per the requirements i'm using a scissors here but if you want to use a chain cutter or a plier chain uh, wire plier you may use that i'm randomly cutting them okay and i'm going to just use them so here you will see that i have cut the different sizes of chains that is mandatory please make sure that you are cutting all the chains into different sizes because you have to hang uh, all the things onto the levels which we will just going to do that so make sure that you are cutting them into the different heights to make sure that you are adding the depth to the entire feel of the keyring here you are creating so what you want to be onto the bottom so that means the thing which is required to hang to be like onto the base let me quickly grab one here one inspiration here so if you want this to be at the bottom that means you will uh, going to add the this accessory for a longer chain the longest chain is like going to be the longer one here with the accessories so now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to put the jump ring onto the one end of this and then i'm going to add my charm over here and i'm going to simply close it you may use the uh, tweezer here as well to make sure that this is done nicely now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the bottle here same thing i'm doing here onto the end then quickly grab it and this is very easy because this is like the cap is with a hole here so that will be very extremely easy to hang your bottles and isn't it looking amazing look at them now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to just grab another chain which i'm going to add over here using another key uh, jump ring and this is going to be here let's grab the ball now hang it hang it and see it okay so in a way you have added chain to all of the 
accessories here. Now grab your very first key, uh, this jump ring here. Now I'm going to put my longest chain here first. Okay, then you may decide the placement as the end result is going to be look absolutely amazing. So you may play with the placements as per your liking. You want to increase or decrease the size of your chains that is your choice so here i have added and look how beautiful it's looking so here i have added a ball over here so what i will do i will switch the another ball to the another end making sure that i am balancing on the things okay so let me quickly put this in now what next i'm going to do is i'm going to close it grab your key ring here take this jump ring open it from the side Add this jump ring and close it and here you are done with the very fast keyring. Isn't it looking super amazing? Look at this. Okay, so we are done with fast. So let's quickly jump to the next one. So this is going to be this one. Let's quickly grab its ball here. And again, the same thing you have to do with the chain. You have to chop the chain. As per your liking, decide it first what you want to be onto the bottom or else you may go randomly what I just did and because the end results are going to be absolutely amazing so no worries. So here. I'm done with this. So let's quickly add the jump rings to one end here. This is going to be real fun when you are going to add all these together, isn't it? Let's grab one more here for the last ball. And here we go. So, done. Now let's quickly grab one more. We are, we are going to attach all these three chains. properly done and again this ball on another side just to make sure that everything looks even and got its importance and look like this how pretty it's looking isn't it amazing close it grab the chain, the chain again open it and insert your Keyring in here, and you are done with the second. So let's keep it aside and let's switch to the third one now. To seal, you will be needing only any strong adhesive. Here we have taken this one, but you may use any, but that should be strong enough to hold the things very tightly because we are going to adhere a metal piece and a glass piece. So you will be needing a very good strong adhesive for the same. So let's quickly start with the first bottle here. Let's grab it though the caps are extremely tight and uh, they are perfectly fit to the bottles but this is like I gen always suggest please make sure that you are going to seal it for a extra protection here so here you will see that I'm adding very less amount of glue onto the edges here let's quickly grab the first bottle and uh, leaving them aside for few minutes you will realize that if you want to put more oil so that is like the extra benefit of keeping that aside so now let's quickly close it and grab the tissue and remove the excess of the glue and here you are done with your very first bottle right look at this how gorgeous it looks so we have leave a uh, amount of space here onto the top so that means that you are going to enjoy the movement of all these beautiful flower pearls which we have added to the bottles so we are done with very first bottle the same step we have to do the with the rest of the bottles now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to quickly add the top of this ball here as well for that i'm going to add the glue here onto the edges of the ball 
uh, not the ball, ball stop so this is like the head of this okay so now i'm going to take this this is the open area and i'm going to simply seal it and press it gently and leave it aside for minimum to 15 to 20 minutes so in this way when you are done with the rest of the working with the keychains you are ready with all the balls to or uh, and the bottles to hang them quickly so let's quickly do that to the all of them now Now we are done with all our key rings here so let's quickly have a look for all of these what we have created so this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one fourth fifth and the sixth one Hope you have enjoyed this video. This is Navjot Kuchar signing off. Thank you so much. Happy crafting.